Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Let's start today's class that is research in education with the subtopic tools of research. In the previous class, we have understood what is the importance of tools of research, what is the meaning of tool. Let's have a quick recap. What is a tool and instrument used for gathering the data? When you are doing research, when you need, you need some tool to gather the data to do further investigation. So there are several research tools varying in design, complexity of features, operation, interpretation. And also there are some characteristics of a good research tool. We have understood that is validity, reliability and usability. So in this class today we are going to understand thoroughly about what is validity. A tool used for collecting data must provide information that is not only relevant but free from systematic errors. That means whatever research tool we are using, the device we are using to collect the data, it must provide genuine information. That is, that should be relevant for future also, for future investigations also. It must produce only valid information and measure what it claims to measure. Obviously, it produces the information which should be valid. For example, an achievement test in social science must measure knowledge of students in social science alone. It should not turn out to be a language test. Obviously, when you are testing the social science knowledge, it should not be tested with the language as we do in general. If a question on poverty is asked and a certain student well versed in the English language writes a good essay on it, the researcher should not end up measuring the language ability of the student. Obviously, they should understand what knowledge related to general technical knowledge related to poverty that student is having that should be calculated rather than the language ability should not be calculated. A tool, however, does not possess universal validity. Obviously, whatever tool is taken it should no, it, it will not be valid universally it may be valid in one situation but not in another the tool is useful in deciding in a particular research situation may have no use at all for a different situation obviously there should there could be three situations whether this tool could be useful in one situation in another it is not useful in some situation uh, we should decide the usefulness of and related to that particular research. So instead of asking is this research to tool valid, it is important to ask the more pertinent question how valid a particular tool is for collecting information which the researcher needs to gather or more generally for what decision is this tool valid obviously for what decision this tool is valid should be the proper question. So there are three types of validity. Number one, content validity. Second, criterion related validity. And third, construct validity. So let's understand quickly about these three. First one, content validity. It relates to the relevance of the content of a research tool to the objective and nature of a research problem. What the content is, which is relevant or not, that is very important related to the problem. For example, in the case of tests of achievement, content validity is estimated by evaluating the relevance of the test items to the instructional objectives. The actual subject studied and the knowledge acquired individually and as a whole. That is taken collectively the items should constitute a representative sample of the variable tested. Obviously when we are taking any achievement test, how should be the content? It should not go one sided. Overall it should be actual subject knowledge should be calculated whether that individually may be whole. It should be taken collectively whatever item is constituted. So it should be the representative of a sample which could be tested uh, variably. 
Now, content validity of a research tool is based on the judgment of several experts in the field concerned, careful analysis of objectives of the subject and also research and the hypothesis if any to be tested. So, content validity anybody cannot do this of a research tool, some judgment is based on the experts. That is whether this content is valid or not, the experts will decide. Then content validity is also known as rational or logical validity or face validity. The second one is criterion related validity. In decision making situations, selection or classification is based on an individual's expected performance as predicted by a research tool. Now let us see the example here, a psychological test or rating scale which predicts the kind of behavior it was intended to predict is said to possess predictive validity. That means whatever psychological tests we take or we take the rating scale, scale which will predict the kind of behavior which is intended. Now the prediction may be regarding success in a job or a course, whatever could be the prediction. This validity refers to the association between present result and as indicated by a particular research tool and future behavior. Now in order to determine the predictive validity of a tool, the results from it must be compared with the actual performance or outcome in the future. Obviously there should be a comparison, whatever the actual uh, results have come which could uh, which could be compared to the predictive results in the future. Now for example, if a test is designed to select students for a certain medical course, scores on the test must indicate a significant positive relationship with their ultimate success in the medical profession. Obviously whatever scores they will get now when they want to possess the profession, it should match up with the future results. A researcher studies productive, predictive validity if his or her primary interest is in the outcome which he or she wants to improve by some professional decisions. Obviously, where, where there is improvement then this type of validity takes place. In some research situations, a researcher may wish to develop a new tool as a substitute for an already existing cumbersome tool that is technique or method. For example, a researcher has developed an achievement test in mathematics may be the scores on this test may be compared with the scores given by the mathematics teacher to the sample students. If the two tests show nearly the same result, the concurrent validity of the researcher's newly developed tool can be established. So the validity of the new tool thus established is called its concurrent validity. Now in case of predictive validity, the measure of the outcome is termed criterion. While the estimating concurrent validity, the newly developed tool is proposed as a substitute for the existing technique or method and the information obtained through the existing technique acts as the criterion. Since in both the cases, the information sought through the newly developed tool is related to a criterion. The two types of validation are also termed criterion related validity. So we have understood with the examples, number one is predictive validity, second one is concurrent validity. So predictive validity, when we take this measure of outcome, whatever outcome, now we will take the results and in the future, what would be the outcome, then that could be the predictive validity. And while estimating concurrent validity, the newly developed the device will be new developed device will be given to the subject for the uh, validity. So these, these two includingly called as criterion related validity. Now the third one is construct validity. That is construct validity is concerned with the extent to which a test measures a specific trait or construct. That is this type of validity is essential for those tests which are used to assess individuals on certain psychological traits and abilities. For example, uh, we can take examples of 
common constructs are anxiety, intelligence, motivation, attitude, critical thinking, etc. Now, construct validity is established by relating the uh, presumed measure of a construct with some behavior that is hypothesized to underlie. So, these are the three types of validities. So, we come to the end of this session. In the next class, another characteristics that is reliability we will discuss. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Thanks for your attention and time. Happy learning.